and we'll show you the participants. That is Mackenzie Ferguson out of Nova, Virginia in lane one. In two, Paige Hall from Machine Aquatics. Lane three, that's Caroline Shebley, who's been second behind her sister Grace twice this weekend. Mackenzie McCona won an event last night, I forget which one. She was your top seed at 202.26 this morning for Nation's Capital. That's Grace Shebley there in lane number five you're looking at now. Already won three events and the number two time all time for 13, 14 girls in the 400 IM on Friday night. Kiana Garino from Asphalt Green is in six. In lane seven is Darby Galbraith and in lane eight from Machine and Francesca Raimondi from Long Island in lane eight. Interesting to see uh, Mackenzie McCona just grabbing the the wall instead of reaching up for the blocks. You see that a lot with some of the younger swimmers on the backstroke starts. Yeah, I think that's a choice. It just depending on how she's moving. Well, you can get off the wall in the start. If you, I think if you, if you don't have the best start and you don't have the ability to get high, I think it's better to just stay in in the water. Yeah, Andrew, you're just saying a really strong stroke, and she's got some underwaters. You don't see a lot of 14-year-olds going that far off the wall in a 200 back. Well, you can really tell the, the programs that are putting focus on it, and as I said, that's the way the sport's going. So even if they're not getting the full 15, um, the development and the focus is there so that when you get a little older, you get a little stronger, get a little bit more background, you can take advantage of that. I mean, the fact is most of these, when you're talking about 13, 14-year-olds, they're not super strong. They're not lifting weights. So the fact that someone can get be that strong, we'll see if she can hold it throughout the whole race, but that's real impressive. Out 58-2-7. So on pace to go a lot faster than she went this morning. Grace Shevley is in second in lane two, and Darby Galbraith down here in lane seven. And still looking good off the wall, but Grace Shevley starting to make, a, make some inroads. Actually, Shebley really is coming on on this third 50. And lead's only going to be about a half a body length at this final turn. 129.41 to 130.43. As they push for home. Uh-oh. Great last turn there for Shebley. Wow. But a great really last underwater turn. there for McCona. It went back and forth there. Shebley. Maybe just ahead here. It's almost dead even under the flags. And it's going to be Grace Shebley with her fourth win of the wow. weekend. What a last 50, 29-7 to McConnell's 31-1. And Caroline Shebley up for third in 